automatically. 422.50 for the athlete in fifth though, Sabatini. So, big chance now for this group. Ujeva for Bulgaria has withdrawn. And for Slavas, who took a bronze in the 800 metres yesterday. Back out on the track this morning. There she is, Emilia Slavas. 4-10-10, so qualification well within her reach. She's also Francesca Bridge of Great Britain now. And here's uh, Adina Demitrov of Kenya. Ninth in the world this year. New Zealand, they're promising a 3,000 metre runner as well, Katrina Robinson. Tall figure of Caitlin Collier off to Stanford University later this year. We also saw her in the 800 metres. And here's Dinka Padisa, who is the second fastest in the world this year. Behind the uh, fellow countrywoman, Sammy. There are 15 athletes in all lining up. There are four automatic places available, but there could well be eight. If they go out at a good pace, and it will be very interesting to see how the slow pace of the first heat affects the start of this second heat. Here we go, heat two. First round, women's 1500 metres. The sun beams down on them here in Tampere. It's a glorious morning now. There's no breeze as the flags are still above the stand on that back straight as they head off on three and three quarter laps. And they have noticeably got off a little quicker. So the message has got through. They've seen it. And they're out with the Canadian Chow. Going to the front and the 800 metre medalist Slabas now joining. These 1500 metre girls in the second heat aren't hanging around. They know time wise what they have to do to get the fastest qualifier spaces in the final. Slabas, our medalist from the 800, is right there at the front. Radisa, the Ethiopian child from Canada, leading them out. Jevitov, the Canadian on the outside, looking comfortable. And Collier, who we've also seen in the 800. It's tucked in there. The athlete in the cap, 1787, is uh, Rika Hiranaka of Japan, 417 runner. Uh, on paper, you know, virtually everybody in this field can achieve the qualifying time. So this could be a really interesting race with Slavas Chow and Badisa of Ethiopia at the front at the moment, and Jevitov running on the outside, just sitting on the shoulder of Slavas. And the tall figure running very calmly. Looking for a faster, slightly better run of Kegan Collier of the United States on the inside, wearing number three. Just losing pace though is Katrina Robinson of New Zealand at the back. High hopes for her coming into this race. But maybe the early pace, just a bit much for her. All of these athletes will know that they're more than capable of picking up a spot in the finals if they can come through these final two laps and put themselves in a good position so they'll all be jostling here. Slavish, Chow, Gradisa, Jebitak, the same four at the front that have led from the start. A couple of laps to go and Slavas now stretching in the front. Jebitak goes with her. Also the Ethiopian, Gradisa. The only person faster than her is Arno Samuel, the winner of the first heat. 220.24 for 800 metres. They're eight seconds faster than the first heat. They know there's a great opportunity here, but there's also an athlete who's pulled out. The Indian, Fiore, has gone down. The race is sadly over, and they're still now starting to put the foot down at the front, and we've got a uh, group of five pulling away from the rest. And the likes of Caitlin Collier are in the second group now. It will be all about the clock really as Slavas leads them down this home straight at an ultimate time. We have the group of five now who have broken away the first four automatically will go through. Slavas is leading them. Seems like she's still plenty running in her legs after that 800 meter medal. Shell is still in there quite comfortably. 
don't discount those who are in the second group, but it is a front group of five at the moment, including uh, Hiranaka wearing the cap, and also the Ethiopian Fadisa at the front with Slabas. Jevatok is in third position. They're accelerating down that back straight here at the Tampere Stadium. Chow trying to hang on of Canada. Lots of support in the crowd for her this morning. Hiranaka of Japan is there as well. Really interesting to keep an eye on what's going on behind though as well. And Caitlin Collier has made a little bit of a move. Also there is the British athlete Francesca Fritz. Slavas has fallen back into fifth place just for the moment. And Fadisa's leading the round with Jevatok behind her. So this group will be a shorter qualification. There's a bunch up coming behind. We've got all eight now, eight runners, and I think they'll all qualify, you know, because the Ethiopian is going to take the victory, Vanessa Jevitok second, and then they all come through the front eight, well inside the 4.22.50,